So how in the world, Dr. Shapiro, do these ear tubes work? So these are the ear tubes, and they're very, very tiny. Actually, if I touch them, they may fall off. They're really these tiny little tubes. They have these little holes in the center, so it is, creates a little opening in the eardrum. The hole is about one millimeter. And so what we do to put the tube in, this is just the little tiny, and Maddie, you don't have to see this. This is the little tiny knife that we use. We make a little opening in the eardrum, and that drains out the fluid, and then we put one of these little tubes in, and it's sort of like putting a button in a buttonhole. It just sits in the ear. There's a reason that you do this, because we've been talking about fluid building up in the middle ear, causes problems, but we, we have a little chemistry <laughs> set up over back, there to, back to, to further high school explain for us. So these are um, sort of examples of what we would see inside of an ear. So this would actually be an example of a healthy ear. The middle ear space should be filled with air, and this is the, the eardrum. And you can, this is how can, sound is conducted through this airspace into the inside of the ear. This is an ear with either an ear infection or just some fluid inside of the ear. And you can see that it's just this watery consistency. It often looks sort of this color, like an amber color. If there's an acute infection, it'll look kind of yellowish. Um, and this is con what can happen if the fluid sits there for too long. It becomes almost like this honey consistency. So maybe and it really, more chronic It gets infection. trapped. It can't drain on its own. Mm -hmm. um, the, obviously, the sound will conduct much more slowly through this space here. So what we do when we do a tube pr procedure is we really just drain out the fluid. We pour it out until it's all um, cleared, and then we have this nice clear air space that we've created from taking out the fluid, and that's what we did for Maddie's ears. And then this little opening in our little beaker here is an example of what a tube would look like. And once all of the fluid is out, we get a nice clear ear during the procedure, and then the tube, obviously it's much smaller, will look like this and create this constant opening between the outside world and the inside world of the middle ear. And that's so important because then there's no pressure buildup and the child's eardrum exactly. can work better and they can hear better and their speech develops better and everything's better. Much better. No more antibiotics. Yay. But a lot of parents wonder if we do ear tubes, how long do they last? Do they need to be replaced? Well, most ear tubes stay in for about 6 to 18 months, and then the eardrum pushes the ear tube out of the ear, out the ear canal, and it falls out on its own, and as it does that, the eardrum heals up and closes and um, then they have no more ear tubes. So Jennifer, how has Madison been doing since the surgery? She's doing much better. Mm -hmm. um, I think we just have one question about uh, how to keep, prevent water from getting in her ear at bath time, and uh, I don't know if one of you could answer that. So that's a very good question, because obviously um, kids love the bath, kids love to swim, we live in Southern mm -hmm. California. What I usually recommend is for young kids like Maddie, if you just pour water over her head or even little quick dunks, these tubes are so tiny that the amount of water that gets into her ear canal won't get through the tube and it won't be a problem. For the kids that jump into the pool and swim underwater, they do need some uh, water protection for as long as the tubes stay in. Okay, and either these headbands or mm -hmm. earplugs, okay. things like that. Exactly. Thank you. Hey, Madison, you Thank feeling you. better? Yeah. You are? Oh, that's good. <laughs> and most importantly, when the kids feel better, they hear better, they live better. So thank you so much for showing You're that welcome. to us. Thank you. Maddie, thanks for coming.